Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dahlia Society. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to talk to you about my favourite sewing podcast. So if you like a good podcast, stay tuned and I'll talk you through. Now today I am wearing a Me Made Mandy Boat Tee from Tazuti Patterns. Um, I know this is a quite a popular pattern, it's a free pattern as well and I've got lots of these in the cupboard and I'm going to do a free knit top episode very shortly coming up so this will be one of the ones on there I'll talk you guys through. So it's a really good comfy top just for wearing around the house when you feel like something easy to wear. So today I'm going to talk about podcasts. Um, I know that podcasts are very popular at the moment. There's a quite a big variety uh, online for you to look up. Um, there's I mean, so many different subjects, different crafting podcasts as well. So I'm going to focus on the, mainly on the sewing podcasts that I listen to because there's quite a lot of other ones I listen to as well. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I do quite a lot of traveling, um, mainly um, I've got five children. The older three are all at university. The son's 14, he goes to high school, so he catches a bus. But the youngest daughter is in grade six, so she's nearly 12. And I have to drive her a good 25 minutes up and back twice a day. So there's nearly nearly two hours worth of driving there. So it's, a, it's close to a 100 kilometre round trip a day I do. So I love to put a good sewing podcast on to help me get inspired, get my creative juices flowing. It also helps um, because a lot of these podcasts can be very different, not only with the hosting, but um, with what they discuss as well. Now, I really don't have any standout particular favourites. Oh, okay, I'm fibbing. I must say uh, I love to sew. I do get really excited when that comes out every Tuesday. So, okay, I fibbed a bit there. Love to sew is probably my number one favourite. Um, but the rest of them, really, there are no uh, standout favourites. They are all really well loved by me, all regularly uploaded, um, be it weekly or monthly um, an amazing current content as well. So I hope you enjoy the list I've made. Number one would be the Love to Sew podcast. These girls are from Canada. Um, there's Helen from Helen's Closet Patterns and Caroline from Blackbird Fabrics. So unless you've been living under a rock somewhere, I'm pretty sure you know who these ladies are. They started podcasting I think about three years ago now. I've so I've been sewing my wardrobe for around five years now. So I think after about a year and a half of, of me sewing, I actually found these ladies and I was so excited. I love the topics they discuss. So also they have makers of all kinds on, be it indie patterns, they have shoemaking, they have a lot of different discussions about fabrics, about size inclusivity, about um, really just anything that we as a community would be interested in. I think that you guys need to download and and binge their episodes if you haven't already. I'm guessing most of you would have already, but I think they're fantastic. I think they've done a lot to inspire the younger community in sewing. I've got to say they have opened my eyes up to so many different aspects of sewing, be it the last episode they had about zippers. They'll talk about buttons. They'll talk about um, pattern making and grading and fabrics and like you name it, they've discussed it. And I think that you'll really find a lot of good content on there. They've also got a Patreon program that you can actually um, become a Patreon member of their show and you get um, extra content. So that people have raved about that as well. I think it's really well worth looking into that. And yeah, as I say, um, I think without these ladies, there'd be a lot less people inspired to sew, especially in the younger community, but they really do branch across all different ages. Episodes go for about an hour and I think you'll get a lot of good value out of them. Sometimes I find myself laughing along with them. I don't really know sometimes who's who. I think I figured out their voices are very similar, but they actually met online and became good friends just through sewing. So the sewing community is an amazing thing. I think most of you guys will have seen that already. Just how supportive everybody is um it's they're just the loveliest people um so as i really think that it's um it just brings everybody together and um, a podcast like this is almost like catching up with some girlfriends for a coffee once a week and i'm um, talking about your favorite subject my next favorite podcast at the moment would be so and tell these ladies get together, I think it's on a monthly basis. Um, there's Meg from Berta Style and there's Kate and Amanda from So New. So they're, uh, they're the uh, editors and the writers of that magazine. They get together and discuss topics uh, of sewing from all kinds. They've had some really amazing 
guests on and these ladies start talking there's so much chatter going on so much excitement and enthusiasm they have some brilliant um, big name guests on I think one of my favorites was uh, when they had Mimi G on and she was discussing her wedding that was being organized at the same time that Meg was organizing her wedding so they're bouncing ideas off each other um, and I really enjoy their topics and at the moment I think the latest episode they've just let out has got them all reviewing their favorite patterns um just individual that they love as well so um i think you'll really enjoy that the thing that i love about these ladies is that they are from different backgrounds and they incorporate all their knowledge together um i think kate is from the theater um i think with meg being from fashion and the uh, sort of indie side of things I think uh, Amanda loves to delve into the indie uh, patterns so with the three of them together and their knowledge with their magazine as well they really do incorporate um, a fantastic team together and they have a lot to discuss so that is Sew and Tell. Another great podcast would be Sewing for the Weekend. Now that is Nina the daughter it's a mother and daughter team so there's Nina and Beth so Nina is a chocolatier from Kansas and Beth her mum is a cardiac development research assistant uh, in Indiana so very very different um, careers there love of sewing comes together they sew on the weekend and then they ring each other once a week because they do live quite a long distance away from each other they catch up on the phone so the whole episode is recorded on over the phone with them chatting about what they've um, their trials and tribulations of sewing their own wardrobes and it is pretty hilarious I think that bond there between the mother and daughter is really cute to listen to um, and comforting about that having someone on the phone or someone that you can connect with that, that loves to sew and i've got to say i'm really lucky at the moment my um my older three daughters as i say were already at university um the twins one's doing teaching um that's charlotte and eliza's doing uh, occupational therapy then my oldest daughter phoebe who is 23 she just finished her diploma in visual arts last year she has just embarked on a certificate for a uh, course in textiles and textile design which i am so happy about um i gave her a little push and said this looks really great and <laughs> she loved the whole fact that you can design your own fabric so when she saw this course that she could learn the ins and outs of fabrics and how it's made and the different knits um, just different um, like screen printing and different digital design so she really is going to learn about just about everything so she's only been uh, going for the last week or so and she's already loving it coming home and letting me know about um, so many different things that I'm, I'm basically picking her brain so I'm living vicariously through my daughter <laughs> when it's something like this uh, as a sewer she get really excited because they can let you know a lot of insights that you might not know about um, and all, although I've got um, a little bit of knowledge there's a lot of things that I didn't know about that she's coming home and teaching me which is um, brilliant so this is a course my dream course I'd love to do myself so the next best thing is having my daughter do it and come home and let me know about everything she's learned. So getting back to Nina and Beth, they discuss a lot of different um, makes and fails they've had, things that they love, things that they haven't loved. Um, yeah, just basically sewing their own wardrobes and getting together and having that chat on the phone. And it's pretty hilarious some of the stuff they uh, they really do have a good have a good chat i think having the creative outlet with a high pressure job of any kind is the best medicine for helping you relax and to zone out and to get into the flow so having a state of flow is really good um yeah so look on sewing for the weekend podcast i think you really enjoy that one another new podcast that's just uh was released last year is an australian podcast called so organized style and that is Anne and maria uh, predominantly that host that and they do have a lot of fantastic local australian people as well as some international people as well on there and it's great to hear the aussie accent if any of you guys that want something a little bit more local content and featuring uh concentrating on local designers as well and local makers so organized style is definitely worth popping on and having a look now last year they went to frock tales the frock tales event too that I, I love that episode just listening to them walking around the room and interviewing a lot of different makers from uh, from melbourne um, I'm, I'm really dying to get tickets to that this year. I think it's going to be definitely on the cards for me because I just heard so many people saying what a blast they had meeting up with um, so many different people that they've, they've talked to online for so long and discussed different parts of sewing and um, to get to meet them in the flesh is actually fantastic. So, um, yeah, so hop on to Sew Organised Style and if you want some Australian content.
Another monthly podcast would be Sewing with Threads, and that is the um, people from Threads magazine that host that. with Sarah, Carol, and Janine, and they are the editors and writers for Threads. So they concentrate on a lot more technical aspects as well as just discussing general chit-chat about sewing. They tend to talk about a lot of technical aspects, and they do have some fantastic guests. They do have some fantastic big-name guests that discuss couture sewing and different techniques that you might like to learn about that you might not have had the chance to hear certain people speak about um and they've also had recently they've had Gertie on there and she was just discussing her whole career and how how she started off and how she ventured out into her own and started writing books um yeah it's a it's a really interesting podcast for learning a lot more technical based sewing skills another favorite podcast of mine is the clothes making mavens um this is laurie from toronto in canada and helena i think she's from california they talk online about different patterns of they've, they've tried different um they'll have a different subject every time they uh they they record as well and i think that's a, a monthly sewing podcast they had it quite a big break for a while um because i think laurie is um She's a professor at a university in Toronto as well. So uh, Laurie and Helena get together and they talk about a lot of different subjects that I've I learned quite a lot of them over the last couple of years. One of their particular main guests they get on uh, quite often is Barbara Amodi. Now, I've now, talked about Barbara Amodi's books before. She has got a fantastic book called So, the Garment Making Book of Knowledge, and it's uh, things that your mother uh, would tell you if she could sew. Uh, it's a fantastic, hilarious book. Uh, I know a few of you last time I mentioned on here, if you've bought it and loved it as well. So it's um, it just really gets back to basics of sewing. So it cuts through a lot of the jargon that you might find um, in other sewing books that get really technical too fast. She brings you back to basics and almost feels like she's just like a mum or a grandma there talking you through some basic sewing terms. And, um, and just inspiring you as well how wonderful it is to make your own wardrobe. I know you guys will have plenty of other podcasts that you may listen to as well as far as sewing goes. So please um, link them in the comments or pop them in the comments and I will um, hopefully see a lot more there that I can actually look up and that can help me on my journey. The podcasts are fantastic. And as I say, you could be doing any any kind of job around the house or, um, or driving and you'll really find that it gets you um, inspired to create. And that's what we all want. We want more inspiration and just different ideas is fantastic and it also for a lot of people who might be lonely or don't have a lot of family or friends around them or even people that do have the family and friends but don't have anyone to, to connect with sewing that's very important it feels like you are part of a community and it feels like you have got a friend on the phone basically chatting about sewing with you and I don't have any close friends that are into sewing recently my, I've got my mum back into sewing and my daughter's just dabbling in a bit of it now but I think being part of a community has really helped me branch out and talk to more people and discuss different aspects of sewing that I never would have had without social media it can be a wonderful thing to network um, with you YouTube, with Instagram, Facebook. Um, there are so many avenues there to find people in your community. And also don't forget to look at local community centres. They do run, um, a, lot of, a lot of places do run different workshops and things like that. And you do instantly connect with people quite quickly. So um, pop onto these podcasts. I will link them all below for you. Don't, don't forget, if you want to see more from me, you know to do all the things, click and subscribe and hit the like button. Um, and then you'll be um, notified if you hit the notification bell of my new episodes coming out every week. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now.